everyone, I just filmed this video using Milk Makeup and Glossier Battle of the Brands type thing. One half I use Glossier, one half I use Milk. I'm gonna give you a second to figure out which side I did which on. You can comment down below if you wanted to guess. But this side I did all Glossier and then this side I did all Milk Makeup. I'm quite happy with how both sides came out. I do talk a little bit more at the end of the video about uh, what aspects I preferred from which brand or kind of like what surprised me. I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I'm glad I finally was able to sit down and finally do it. Before we get started, I do want to mention that I am a rep for Glossier. This doesn't change my opinion on either side. You can definitely see yourself how all of the products perform, but if you are interested in getting any of the Glossier products at a discount, I do have a rep link down below in the description bar, so you can go ahead and shop through that link and get 10% off and then free shipping if you order uh, $30 or more, which is really easy to do on that site. There's a lot of great products that they sell. But anyway, I don't have really anything else left to say about this video, so let's just get started and I hope that you enjoy. For the milk side, I could go in with the blur foundation or the skin tint. I don't know which one would be like more fair. Obviously the blur foundation is going to be very full coverage. And then we have like the Glossier skin tint. For this side, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do the sun tint on this side and then the glossy skin tint on this side, obviously. I really like the sunshine skin tint from Milk. I think it looks so pretty on the skin. It definitely does give more coverage than the Glossier skin tint. So if you want like a little bit more coverage but still that glowy like skin like look i would totally get the milk sunshine skin tint on this side of my face i am going to be using the glossier skin tint this has very 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 sheer sheer coverage it is literally exactly what it says it's a skin tint i am going in with the same brush because i did not prepare but Hopefully nobody gets too upset about that. My shades for everything will be listed down below. I was using the Skin Tint in the shade G7 and then I was using the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint in the shade Honey. For concealer, I have the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer and this is pretty full coverage. It actually is quite beautiful. It's becoming a little bit hard to do one half of my face. On this side, I'm going to be using the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I kind of like the natural lighting. What do you guys think? My ring light broke. I was just constantly having to like screw it back on and then the screw, I guess it would just like became loose. I don't know how building works but it just started coming loose and then it like wasn't able to screw on anymore so I went ahead and super glued it and then the super glue came undone and then I recently spilt paint all over the carpet and luckily my mom was able to clean it up but she was still like a little bit upset with me um but the paint got all over the ring light so like at this point I'm like I just need to buy a new one however they're like $200, close to $300. I just don't want to spend the money on that right now. So that's why I'm using natural lighting today. I really hope it's looking okay. I don't have a powder from Mill. I do have the powder from Glossier. I like go back and forth whether I like this powder or not. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. So I think I'm just gonna skip powder altogether. The rest of the products I'm using are like cream products anyway. I'm going to use uh, the Milk Kush Brow fiber gel, Kush fiber brow gel from Milk. 
I've decided that the brow product works only when you're brushing the hairs like horizontally, I don't know. When you start brushing the hairs up, which is what I like to do, I really like to get my brow products like in there. It just doesn't work as well. Um, it gets really, really messy. So only applying the brow product, I guess through the brows like going in a horizontal way is better. When you start like kind of, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. When you start like getting the brow hairs like poking them up, the product starts getting like everywhere and it's super messy and I decided I don't like using it that way. As for the boy brow, the boy brow I can get like everywhere and really like get the product in my brows and it looks good no matter what. Which I like. I like that I can be like kind of messy with this product and it still ends up looking good. However, like Obviously, it won't ever look as deep as that Kush brow does or looks. Sorry, I have a hard time doing my makeup like and talking at the same time. That's why I do so many like voiceovers for when I film myself doing makeup. But I do like chatting. Oh, kind of back to what I was saying about the ring light situation. I like don't want to buy a new one, so if you happen, well, I also wanted your opinion on like the lighting situation, but if you happen to know of like a more affordable ring light, I guess, um, that I don't have to spend $200 on, but it still works fairly well, I would love some good suggestions. So that is the boy brow, and then that is the Kush brow, the Kush brow fiber. Honestly, I'm really, I'm liking the boy brow a lot more. Um, I don't know if I have liked the boy brow so much in this brow because I have a lot of like baldness going on right here and the Kush brow did a, such a good job at like filling that in. Like it looks like I had filled in my brows with a pencil, but the brow, the boy brow looks so much more fluffy and natural and like not as heavy so I really like that. What do you guys think? Which one? Milk Glossier. I'm going to take the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. I quite like this product. Bronzer is something that Glossier does not have and it drives me freaking nuts. I can't believe that they don't have a bronzer um, or like even a contouring product. I think a bronzer in their cloud paint formula would be unreal but the milk makeup bronzer the stick one is so nice i do like it a lot and i like the color a lot too it also smells good like oh that blended out so well yeah it smells like the beach loves it I'm gonna add a little bit more, like right here. To clean up anything, like if I ever take a uh, bronzer or anything down too far, I always just take my foundation brush, like whatever foundation brush I was using, and kind of just like pat in this area. Mm, the skin, like it looks so good on both sides. I'm such a big fan. Glossier doesn't have like a specific uh, bronzing product, but I do sometimes like to use the Wouter in deep dark dark deep to uh, Sculpt my face just a little bit. I'm going to use the same brush. I am sorry. I'm lazy um, But that's just who I am And the powder does end up blending out very nicely over top of um like cream stuff so I don't have to worry about it like skipping or anything so that looks beautiful like gorgeous love it love her so this is Glossier so far that is milk so far which which are we feeling I don't know next I'm gonna do highlight I prefer to use a liquid highlighter underneath cream blush I am going to go in with milk makeups uh, highlighter in the shade turnt I was planning on returning this and I still am I just haven't gotten around to it because for some reason the lady in the email asked me to send her a picture and honestly like 
like when someone asks me to do something that I don't want to do I like it makes me not want to do it even more like I just can't I don't know why I'm like just so lazy to the point where I don't want my money back because all I have to do is take a picture of my broken product and send it in an email what's wrong with me anyway I'm going to take turn yeah I just really don't like this product I think that the extra glitter in it is ugly I'm not a fan of her. And she like lifts. I don't love highlighters in stick form. Glossier does have a highlighter in stick form. It is their Halo Scopes. I don't find that those lift as much and also they aren't as like shimmery as this one is. And they don't have chunks of glitter in it. I didn't bring the Halo Scope to show today. Today I brought the Glossier Play Nightshine in the shade Platinum Rose. I've been really enjoying this. I think it ends up looking so beautiful on the skin. Kind of almost, I don't know. You know how like a liquid highlighter feels almost cold? This one feels not cold. So it ends up almost looking like a powder highlight, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't give that wet look to the face uh, like the Halo Scope might. But doesn't that look just so beautiful? I really prefer the Nightshine over the Milk Highlighter. So that's the Nightshine, that's the Milk Highlighter. Next we have some blush. I'm going to be using the blush in the shade Work. This product I do really love. I love this stick blush. I'm taking it directly on the brush. I took way too much. I forgot I'm only doing one of one side of my face. Um, but, oh my god. I'm gonna have to get up and like wipe this off on a paper towel. I took way, way, way too much. I also am obsessed with this brush for cream blush products. It is the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. I have no idea if they still sell it. I'm like obsessed with it. I always talk about it, always. It's just so good. Next, I am going to be mixing Dusk and Storm in the Glossier Cloud Paints. It is my signature mix. My sister doesn't know what I'm doing in this video, she just walked into the room, but I'm gonna have her tell me which side that she prefers so that we can have an unbiased opinion. On my eyes, for the milk side, I'm going to take some of the baked bronzer and just put it all over my, like not all over my eyelid, but just like in the crease uh, for some definition. Can't do an eye look without definition. This is going to be a very similar look to the look that I made in the full face using milk makeup video that I filmed a few weeks ago. There's not like that many milk makeup products that I own for me to do something crazy different. I am just mixing the milk makeup eye pigments in the shade Gig in Hotel Lobby. The shade that I'm putting on my lid right now is a mixture of both of those. But if you haven't seen that video, the full face using milk makeup video, it's a good one. Gotta say, watch it after you're done watching this one. And the eye pigments are crazy, like, long wearing. Once you put those puppies on, they do not move. For the Glossier side, I'm taking a little bit of the Wouter. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the crease of my eye here. Just for some definition again. I have all of the Glossier lid stars and I have some of the Glossier Play color slides. I do really like the lid stars. They are really easy to apply and really easy to work with. They definitely are not as intense as the Milk eye pigments. The pigments are so, so pigmented. These are very sheer. They are like what you would expect from a Glossier eyeshadow. They are sheer, they give off like just a little, like a little sheerness of color. I don't know how, how else to say it, but they are pretty and they do last a very long time. The color slides I haven't gotten so much 
uh, playtime with, I did film like a full face using Glossier and Glossier Play when the Glossier Play line had just launched. But other than that, I haven't really had too much playing time with these products. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Cub and I'm going to put it all over my eyelid just to start out. See what I mean about it just being like a very sheer wash of color? I'm also going to take the Color Slide in Pretty Penny. It's like this bronze and I'm going to run it along my lash line. These are very smooth. And then also they look really good when you're like blending them out, which is what I'm doing here. Just to add like a pinch of smokiness. I do want to play with the eyeliner in Candyland. I've never used it before. Just putting it all over my eyelid. Ooh, it's pretty pink. Just going to tap that in with the warmth of my finger. I want to deepen up my lash line over here, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of Disaster Class. I'm also going to take a little bit of Moon and just put it on my brow bone. I love a brow bone highlight. I'm going to take the Kush Mascara from Milk and I'm going to go ahead and apply it. I think that this mascara is pretty. It looks okay. It looks good. It definitely looks good. I think a lot of product ends up getting on the brush and then when you put it back in the tube, it gets really messy, which I don't like. I don't like messy products. It is comfortable on the eyes. Um, I know in my milk video, I did mention how I did fall asleep with this on and it ended up not like doing anything funky underneath my eyes. I have noticed from wearing it a little bit more often that this mascara will flake a little bit on me. I don't know if people have similar experiences. But yeah, I just don't reach for this mascara very often. I do only have like a little mini size of it. But I have no intentions of buying the full size, I guess. I also feel like you have to really work to make it not look clumpy. And like the brush is just too large for that sort of task. So on this side, the Glossier side, I will be using the Glossier Lash Slick. And I'm a really, really big fan of the Lash Slick. I think it does a really good job at lengthening my lashes. There are claims of it making your lashes look like you have lash extensions. I really believe that. Like, I think that that's really true. It totally just looks like you have naturally beautiful long lashes. I also don't ever have a problem with it flaking or smudging underneath my eyes. It's super long wearing. I do find that sometimes my eyes will get a little bit irritated by the end of the day, but I also just have very sensitive eyes. And then it is a little bit challenging to remove at the end of the day. I do end up having a little bit of like residue, which some people probably wouldn't bother, but uh, for me, I, it does kind of bother me. I like going to bed with a fresh face, and I also like waking up without like any mascara residue underneath my eyes. But other than that, I really like this mascara. See, like it just like really lifts the eye. So how are we feeling so far? We have we have the Glossier side right here. That's what she's looking like. And then we have Milk right here. Well, I have two lip products from Milk that I'll be using today. I'm going to apply the Green Dragon uh, Kush Lip Balm just to kind of prep my lips. I have the tinted one in the shade Nug and I really, really love it. I just don't know where it is right now. Ooh. 
Oh, it feels really weird only having a lip balm on one side of my lip, so I am going to put some Glossier Balm.com in the shade Birthday or like the flavor Birthday Kate. I am going to apply the shade Deuces um, from Melt Makeup, it's their lipstick. I'm going to apply it on this half of my lips. I am now going to take the Generation G lipstick in the shade Cake. I think just for fun, I'm going to take a little bit of the Glossier Play lip gloss in the shade Pony. I really like this shade. I think it's so beautiful. All right, so that is both sides done. This is the Glossier side. What do you guys think? I think the skin looks really, I think everything on the side does look really, really good. I'm a huge fan of it. And then that is the Milk Makeup side. The only thing that I have issues with is the mascara. I just don't like the mascara very much. And the Kush Fiber Brow Gel, I do like. I think it makes for a very nice, fast brow. But I like the result of the boy brow better. I think that the boy brow just looks a lot more natural, um, naturally full, uh, a lot more fluffy. Both sides of the skin look incredible, which honestly I was not expecting. I was kind of expecting to really prefer the Milk Makeup side over the Glossier side just because of that more uh, full coverage aspect that the Milk Makeup would give me. However, I think the stretch concealer really does like pull through and ends up looking so, so beautiful on the skin. It just looks... Um, like you have naturally flawless, very dewy, healthy skin. So I really do love that about the stretch concealer. Cheek product wise, I obviously, I really prefer the highlighter. This is the, high, the Glossier Play highlighter in Platinum Rose. I really prefer it over the Milk Makeup uh, Turnt whatever that was I don't I don't like that highlighter at all I really love both blushes I don't think I have a preference obviously um, I had to use a non bronzing product as my bronzer for my Glossier side um, so the big bronzer I guess would obviously win in that scenario even though I do like how more tan I guess I look on this side when I did use the Wouter in Deep Dark. Lip wise, I don't really have a preference to. I really like the lip formula uh, of the Milk Makeup Lipsticks. I just kind of wish they had like more colors that I, w I would wear personally. And then um, I do, I love the Generation G lipsticks from Glossier. And then I'm completely obsessed with their new line of lip glosses in the shade Pony. I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks so good on the lips. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use, leave them down below. Again, if you are interested in getting 10% off any of the Glossier products in this video, go ahead and use my rep link down below in the description bar. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, and hopefully I see you next time. Okay, which one oh, do you prefer? Like sides? Mm hmm The side or this side? I like the pink side. The the other side looks like you every other day. Every day of your life. Well, What's okay, like, if you didn't know me and saw me walking on the side of the road and saw... I would think you were ugly. <laughs> <laughs> um, which one would you prefer? Well, probably the left side. Like, this the, Okay, one. so this one. Just because it's, like, more of, a, like, a daily look. But, like, I like the other one if you were to go out at night. Like, I like the, the color. It's, like, warm. Which skin side do you think looks better? The one with the, the, one with the warmer... The pink Do you think one? my skin looks better here? I think your skin looks a lot better there. That's probably why I like the eyeshadow. Mm-hmm. This side looks paler. Really? Oh, I'm surprised because this tends to oxidize on me. You look sickly.